Hi friends. Okay, so this, I'm gonna try to make this vlog about hair. So here it is. Just got out the bathtub. Um, so when I, like, about seven or eight months ago, up until then, I used to shampoo my hair every single day. I had to, because if I didn't, then the top part up here would start to get greasy. Like, not super greasy, like some people's do, but greasy, and I didn't like the look of it. So, um, about seven or eight months ago, I found this dry shampoo. This is my favorite one. I get it from Ulta. It's the sugar berry one. Um, okay, so I get out of the shower and just towel dry my hair, and then I use this. I don't like to put a lot of stuff in my hair. I don't like to put a lot of heat on it. I don't like if days I'm not doing nothing, my hair will air dry and I won't do nothing with it. Um, okay, so rewind. So when I used to shampoo my hair every day, it's totally, it's so not good for your hair at all. So since I've switched it up a little bit, so okay. So I used to shampoo my hair every day. Then I went till about like four days a week with the dry shampoo. Now, and that was like seven or eight months ago, now I'm down to about two to three times a day, or week, two to three times a week. Um, it might sound gross to some, but really it's not this dry shampoo, it's, it's dry shampoo. So it's, it's shampoo, it's dry shampoo. So, um, so I get out of the shower and I spray this in there. It is a, it's a primer, so it like helps dry it faster. Love this stuff. Ulta, I get this at Ulta too. I'm sure you can get it other places. So I get out of the shower and I'll blow dry it a little bit and then I'll let it air dry a little bit and then maybe blow dry it again. But when it's totally dry, I will take my dry shampoo. I'm not gonna do it right now because it's still damp. My hair's not dry all the way yet. I'll spray it like right here all along my hairline and I even get like back here for when like the second or third day I might wanna pull my hair back or whatever. Oh, and then I'll take it and, sp and spray here and I'll take it and spray here. And it also too, like by the second day, why I'm putting this in my hair when it's dry. I'll get to that. So, when I first started using dry shampoo, I was doing it the wrong way. Well, I don't know if there's a right or a wrong way, but um, I was waiting till my hair was neat and washed. That's what I thought you would do, and then it would be greasy, and I'd use it, and it was like, no, I needed to wash my hair. It just was not working. So then I heard somebody else say that um, they do it when it's clean, which makes sense because this stuff absorbs the oils as they're coming out. So you're getting longer before you're needing to wash your hair, if that makes any sense. But I'm telling you, try it. And the first, you gotta get used, to, like I said, you're still gonna feel like, you have to get used to it. It's kinda gritty, kinda, but when your hair is neat, like when you are when you put it in when it's clean, you don't really need it, so you can feel it a little bit more. But by like the second and third day, you don't feel this because it's doing its job and your hair isn't greasy. And it actually, uh, if you guys get used to it, you'll, You'll love it. Like by my third day hair is when I like it the best because it just it does whatever I want it to do. Okay, so yeah, that's that. And that's how I do that. And I will come back later. Bye friends. Hi friends, I'm back. Okay, so this is day two. Woke up, this is what I look like. No makeup, gross, but oh well. So yesterday I had shampooed my hair and I and then after it dried yesterday I did <clears throat> put my dry shampoo in. So now before I get started today I will do my dry shampoo right along my hairline. And a little bit up here and then back. Just in case I want to wear my hair up. Okay, and then I just let that set for just a second because it feels a little wet. And then I just take like a bigger, don't matter what you use, I just brush my hair out, comb it out. And then my curl iron was already on. So randomly I just really take pieces. What I try to do is not like, so this one I will do back this way, away from my face. 
so then the next one I do by that, I will do the opposite way. And then I take it and then I pull so that the bottom, because I don't really want it curled, I just want a little wave to it. See, this one will curl towards my face. I hope this don't get too boring if you asked for this, so it don't take too long. Okay, so I'm back and I finished up the curls. I didn't spray this side yet, so I'll spray that. <coughs> and then I let it set for a second. And then when I run my hands through them, through it, if I need to add curls anywhere, then I'll do that. But it's so simple, you guys. You see what I did? Dry shampoo, Kenra 25, and I start and I just take my hands. And I just literally run them through. And like I said before, see, I don't want curls. So if there's like a curl that's too curly, I will just separate it. And this will last you. And then all you got to do is just freshen them up. Like tomorrow, I'll just freshen up my curls. And then like the next day after that, if I want to just... um like pull it back or in a side little thing, but you will see sometimes because when I sleep, I'll sleep on the side so it goes, yeah. So I'll just fix that. And what I do is just take my curl iron and straighten it a little bit. And then just curl that ends and bring it down. And we'll let that cool off for a second. I'm not loving this, so I will take big piece of this and just curl it so easy so glad I cut my hair it's growing out a little bit now my hair grows fast 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 I'm gonna see the um, reason why you want to let it um, cool off is because if you bring your hands through it when it's still hot then it won't last you all day <clears throat> so you want to set your curls let them sit there for a second and then I'll throw on some face powder so all I did before this was since I took my shower yes well my bath yesterday I just got up washed my face with my face wash that's another thing I don't use shampoo on my face anymore it dries it out <clears throat> so I have a face wash I use um and I'm so glad I got my eyebrows tattooed because I don't have to do that and I sucked at it anyway so huh and then um brushed my teeth washed my face curl my hair and then I'll throw on a little bit of makeup I'm not a huge makeup girl never have been Let's see and then you just do it. and then if there's a piece you don't like like see see these so just grab that section it's because it's a section that I didn't um get all the hair in so it's kind of trying to stick out so just grab it curl it a little bit and then it'll go right on in perfect and you can and what I even do before I spray it is I go in with a little bit more dry shampoo because it gives you volume too so anywhere where I want a little bit more volume, I'll take it. And then it feels cold on your head, so I leave it, <clears throat> leave it set for just a second. Yep. Just style it how you want. I need to trim, my, like I need to cut my layers. And then this hairspray, you literally only need a little bit. So there you have it. Your hair is done. Bye, friends. Hi, guys. Okay, so I just wanted to, I was going to end the video yesterday, but I thought, you know what? Let me show them day three hair. So would that be day three? I shampooed it Monday. So I would say Tuesday is day two, Wednesday is day three, or is this day two? Shampooed it Monday. And then, so maybe it's day two. Anyways, I wanted just to show you. So this is what it looks like after the video yesterday. And then I slept and then woke up. As you can see, it's still not greasy. 
and usually my hair would be greasy the next day. So, again, I just comb it out. And then grab your favorite <coughs> dry shampoo. Hairline. feels so cold on your head it feels good. I'm gonna let that set just for a second. Coffee. Good. That set in and then I'll just comb it again. My curl iron was already on. See now it just gets as the days go, it just gets easier. That looks a little greasy, <clears throat> so I might take a little bit of dry shampoo. Oh, and what I forgot to tell you guys yesterday, too, about this. Um, they have this for light and for dark hair. Because the one for light hair is more white, which that's what this is, and it don't show up in mine. But if you was to, like I um, <clears throat> cut my friend Roxy's hair a couple months ago, and I just wanted her to try dry shampoo, and she's got like dark brown hair and I put a little bit of mine in hers and you could see white <laughs> so but anyways as the days go by that you don't shampoo your hair it just gets easier for you to fix it because again just grab and I grab big sections too and just start curling them just wham. anyway put it in there because for this look like I said you don't want curls you just want that beachy you don't want straight but you don't want curls you want kind of like a straight curl and just grab and see today I won't even do everything I'll just because I like the straight look just if I see any sticking out I'll grab oh don't burn my sail When I was editing yesterday's video, I noticed a bunch of stuff. I said, I don't use shampoo on my face anymore. <laughs> I'm at soap. This one can go forward. Again, you guys, let me know if you guys try. And you don't have to use the products I'm using. You can... Do what works for you and your hair. Everybody's different. That's why I've never really been a promoter of certain products because some that work for me might not work for you. And put one in the front here. And then I, yesterday I was having a problem with this side because that's the side I sleep on. So I'm gonna work on that a little right here. So we'll just take it with a hair cutting comb, straighten it out. And then I really don't want this curled so I take it in and take it right back out. Perfect. And we will take my, um, like my, I don't have a cowlick, but this would be a cowlick area. I always take this side and go that way just because I like volume. I don't like flat hair. Like, Larry loves my hair straight and I just can't. I wear it straight every once in a while, but I don't love it. I don't know. I don't like straight hair stuck to my head. Maybe because I was in the 80s. Oh, and I had that big hair, yo. The dry shampoo really cuts your 
getting ready time like big time because I know back when I used to shape my hair every single day just to get ready you had to get in the shower shampoo your hair blow dry it and me I have some thick hair even when my hair is short I got some thick hair so it takes a while just to blow dry it then you blow dry it and you got this clean hair so it's not wanting it's wanting to just do its own thing because it's so clean I'm just going to take a look at the back real quick. And I have a piece right here we need to grab. is so good okay so there's that we are going to let this cool up just for a second grab our Kenra 25 again you guys can use whatever you want but I've been in using hair stuff for a lot of years and if you I don't know if everybody's different I like my hair to be held all day but I don't like the stiff feeling and that that does it it it'll last it'll stay and it don't even feel like you have hairspray or product in your hair and that's what I like see that's the feeling I that's why I would feel like I would need to wash my hair is because like every day everybody needs to wash their hair but um because the buildup of product and stuff in it just I don't know I couldn't go to sleep with the stuff in my hair but the dry shampoo it, I don't know, it absorbs, maybe it absorbs the hairspray and product you put in your hair too. Alright, so again, just run your fingers through it. Like I said yesterday, I need to um, trim my layers up. So my hair isn't going exactly how I usually do it. But I mean, for third day hair, see in this one, I curled towards, so, okay, let me show you something. See how this one is towards my face and this one is towards my face. So now it's like, it's don't have that look I look, I like. <laughs> so that's going back, that's going forward. I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to curl it back away from my face. Cause I just see, cause I'll have this one, this going that way, this one, this way. And I'll grab this one and go this way. I'm going to leave it in a little bit longer because it already had been curled this way. So we got to, I don't want it to be. There. Okay, we're just going to let that cool off just for a second. Take a drink of our coffee. And that was so quick for... All I'll have to do is throw on some makeup. It's still warm. I'm just going to hit it with some Kenra real quick. Let that cool off a few more seconds. See, so today I can still get a day of wearing it down. Now tomorrow I can pull it back. Oh, you know what I'll do? It'll be a separate video though, because I gotta end this one. Um, maybe I'll show you guys how to do the bun, like the messy bun on top and make it look cute. Well, I'm not gonna show you. I'm show you how I do it. There's no. Everybody probably does it different ways, but it just depends on how you like. I don't like it like right on top of my head, and I don't like it perfect. I like it messy. So there you have it. That's third day hair. Well, I washed it Monday, so do you count Monday? If you count Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today, or if you're not counting Monday, it's second day hair, whatever, however you want to do it. But okay, so I shampooed it Monday. So I will shampoo it for sure Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, so today would be second. 
day hair, right? Anyways, you can figure that out. But, yep, there it is. Bye, guys. Hi. Okay, so that was my first hair tutorial. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you weren't bored. But um, I just wanted to say that if any of you guys try to curl your hair how I showed you today or if you use any of the products that I used, um, let me know. I want to see how you liked them, if you didn't like them, whatever. And if you guys had any suggestions on anything else that you might want to see to learn how I do, just let me know. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Oh, and one more thing. If somebody tries to tell you to do your hair some old way you don't want to do, you just tell them, mm-mm, I know what I want. Mm-hmm.